Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. It's having somebody's having trouble with this puzzle generator, so you got to make sure it's all grouped together. And then when they put in their puzzle and go to intersect, you can nudge your picture out of the way and then nudge your puzzle out of the way and you've got it. But the disadvantage in this, you cannot break them apart. You can't break the individual pieces apart if you wanted to do something with them, as you can see. So what you need to do in that case from this particular puzzle generator is to make a new puzzle. Because if we look, if we ungroup it, there are, some of them are going to have two sets of lines for some reason. There we go. There's two sets of line. So what you need to do is make a new object. Uh, set your nudge vector something bigger than your puzzle. Go to the Smart Fill tool. Fill that in and nudge it, nudge it, nudge it, nudge it. Whoop. See, I nudged that one twice. Make sure you only do it once. And I'm not gonna, I'm gonna do them all. And what you're doing, you're making all these new objects. So if we look, we got 25 new objects. Left click, right click, and now you have a new object. And now, probably the best thing to do is, is uh, group this together. And use, I don't like it a lot, Sometimes, but I use power clip to place inside frame. And there you have it. Then you can go to object, group, and ungroup. And now you've got individual puzzle pieces. It's a pretty cool uh, generator. Uh, like I said, I'll put a link at the bottom and uh, maybe even a link to the first video I did on it. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.